Hey, it's Comic Artist Pro Secrets. My name is Ethan Van Skyver. I'm a comic book artist and a Star Wars fan. Star Wars fan. Um, uh, this is a worrisome article that came out today. And today is an important day for Star Wars fans. Uh, Force, not The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi. Um, promises, promises. Last Jedi comes out uh, on DVD and Blu-ray today, so... Uh, if you'd like to go out and get one, uh, get a copy and relive that nightmare over and over again, you can do that. I am going to do it because it's part of my job. Uh, it's my job to inform you guys about what's available out there uh, and to warn you um, of any uh, impending uh, Star Wars product that you might be considering buying. Um, I, 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 I want to be the guy who kind of lets you know about that. Um, and so I will be buying uh, the Last Jedi on Blu-ray. I'm thinking about going to Best Buy and getting the Steel Book, but then again, when I throw it, I'm afraid it's going to hurt someone. So I might just go ahead and get the plastic one instead. Soft plastic, soft plastic. All right, this is worrisome here. SJW Star Wars wants your kids. They want to indoctrinate your children. Uh, we've got this alarming illustration here. This kid is in a cage. Um, he looks like he's being held hostage somewhere dark. And he is being shown um, some Star Wars toys. Uh, so that is like something out of uh, Clockwork Orange. Let's read this article and see what these monsters are suggesting. Unless you live in a pop culture bell jar, your child will be introduced to Star Wars. We can't let them have this kind of power. We can't. We can't let them do this. What if I don't want my child... No, your child will be introduced to SJW Star Wars. George Lucas' space opera has so thoroughly and efficiently saturated the entertainment sphere. Oh my, it's a, Star Wars indoctrination is almost, uh, is as inevitable as exposure to cold germs at daycare. Oh, what a great, what a great analogy. What a wonderful comparison. You can let fate, cultural osmosis, and Disney marketing executives control when and how your child learns about Luke and Leia. Or you can guide them like a Jedi guides a Padawan, making sure childhood Star Wars is something magical you can share. This is disgusting. This article is disgusting. Start with some toys. Oh my God. <coughs> Others threw up. Oh, I'm sorry. Toys and other merch will almost definitely be your child's first introduction to the Star Wars universe. Uh, brand new clothes, bed sheets, and picture books, video games, and more are everywhere. And if you're into the movies, you may as well load... Oh my god, I feel queasy. Load up your home with them. A newborn and a storm pooper. Oh my god. What the hell? Onesie is uh, adorable. Uh, kids love the iconic friendly faces of characters like Chewbacca and C-3PO. I gotta take a break. be professional about this. All right. Uh, separate myself from this. This isn't personal. This is business. This, uh, yeah. Okay. Got to approach this like a doctor um, approaching uh, a cadaver. It's not personal. It's just uh, work. It's science. Law enforcement. Just be aware of choking hazards and age labeling. For safety's sake, it's probably best to stick to officially licensed Star Wars toys. You don't want your newborn suck. Uh, I gotta skip ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, the video games are great too. Uh, my kid's introduction to Star Wars came from Lego Star Wars games. Dex and I working together to get through these funny and well-designed games is a great memory of the summer between kindergarten and first grade. Uh, take or leave the cartoons. When it comes to narrative Star Wars, many parents start with the two canonical cartoon series, Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. Both are high quality entertainment the kids like. Uh, but I'm lukewarm on the cartoons overall. They have their moments, uh, but they're just not special the way the movies are. Not to disparage the creators of these shows, maintaining the quality and impact of Empire Strikes Back over six seasons of a cartoon is probably impossible. 
Uh, in our house, we park our kid in front of cartoons when we need a few minutes to pay the bills or take a shower. Uh, but Star Wars is something we do together. Whether it's playing with action figures in the sandbox, our co-op Lego Star Wars video game run, or watching uh, the movies, your mileage uh, way vary. Way vary. Um, so at least he's talking about using his own kids. I don't know if he's if this article is trying to uh, inspire other people or instruct people in uh, how to introduce their own kids or other people's kids to Star Wars. But either way, there is a, a sinister undercurrent. Uh, what's the right age? Uh, 18? 18? No. When toys and games have their place, movies are pure, uncut Star Wars, but how do you know when your Padawan isn't old enough to mainline that sweet, sweet spit? Oh my God, this is vile. Uh, like so much of parenting, it depends on the child. Um, all, all of Star Wars movies are aimed at kiddies. So in terms of violence and understandability, they're PG rated with gusts of up to PG-13. But the appropriateness of any movie really depends on your ideas about acceptable entertainment and the sensitivity and personality of your child. My son was way more psychologically damaged by, by, I, okay, uh, spoiler alert, the balloon popping in the red balloon than anything in the Star Wars movies. Okay, I think you may be excusing yourself. Uh, that said, uh, eight is a good Star Wars base age. Uh, that's old enough to follow the basics of the stories and not be too traumatized by semi-gruesome moments like the reveal of Vader's mangled face or the smoking skeletons of Luke's Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen. By the way, uh, you know, not to criticize Kenner, I think they did a good job, um, but Hasbro, you may want to consider um, making uh, action figures of uh, Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen, um, you know, after the stormtroopers got through with them. And um, go ahead and make them um, voice activated on that force wristband thing. I would like to hear what they have to say. Um, okay. Uh, but you should probably pre-screen each film with your child's sensitivity in mind. Viewing order, blah, blah, blah. Since they were not released in chronological order, uh, which Star Wars movies uh, to watch when it... When is it? Which? I'm sorry, you guys deserve a better reading of this. <clears throat> Since they were, I'm just, I'm queasy. I really am. My stomach hurts. Since they were not released in chronological order, which Star Wars movie to watch when is a topic of deep debate among sci fi freaks. Yeah, freaks. George Lucas suggests a straight chronological order. The leading internet theory, Rod Hilton's machete order, is that the best Star Wars watch order is four, five, two, three, six. Uh, some say to watch them in order of production. In my opinion, though, none of those options are right for kids. After careful consideration and a rescreening of all nine movies, I've concluded that the optimum viewing mo uh, order for children is. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, Rogue One. Followed by the Star Wars Holiday Special. But only if your kid is a budding hipster ironist. Well, he will be if he's your child. Uh, this order uh, put the most unabashedly Star Warsy movies first. And falls with the newer flicks that respect the tradition. I don't care about any of this. This is all just a cover uh, for the real agenda. Um, lucky the movie serials of the 1930s heavily influenced the Star Wars movies, so they're episodic, and you can easily split them into 20-minute post-dinner episodes. This gives you the chance to explain any confusing plot elements mid-movie or explain how Akira Kurosawa's uh, The Hidden Fortress and Fritz Lang's Metropolis influenced George's visual choices. Yeah. Uh, plus, watching at home means you can skip the boring parts. Oh, so you can skip the uh, prequel trilogy. Fast forwarding greatly improves some Star Wars moments. When I showed my kid The Phantom Menace, I chopped it down to a tight 90 minute chase flick by chapter skipping the discussions of midichlorians and intergalactic trade regulations that make up most of the second act. He'll thank me when he's older. Uh, you'll be in prison. Whatever you do, make sure uh, you watch the Star Wars movies together, listening to your kids' laughter when Obi-Wan tricks the stormtroopers or seeing their amazement and relief when Han 
flies back uh, to help the rebellion is magical, like a portrait portal back to your childhood when you felt the same rush. Hmm. Yeah. It all started when my parents got mad at me for calling the new villain in uh, the villain in a new hope, Darth Vader. Yeah. All right. Very, very good. Uh, I don't want to show his face again. Um, I don't, I'm sorry. This was a disturbing article and I think I'm going to go back and censor his face the first time. Uh, they're after your kids. Uh, they're after your kids. The uh, SJWs are after your kids. And um, uh, they want to use Star Wars. They're trying to figure out the best way to arrange um, the new Star Wars movies mixed in with the pure and wonderful original trilogy um, in order to influence and um, control, manipulate your children. Uh, so be aware. Be aware. I would say just to be on the safe side, if you're going to show your kids Star Wars at all, which I don't necessarily recommend, um, but if you are going to do that, uh, keep your kids, um, let them roam free, let them uh, have an easy path to escape uh, if they need to. I wouldn't put them in a cage like this. Um, yeah, leave the door open. So if they need to run away, uh, they can do it. Like, you know, uh, caged birds uh, are very sad things. Um, so do that. And also... Um, yeah, just show them the original trilogy. Let them make up their own mind. Oh, it was a better time. The 70s and 80s, it was a better time. It's no secret at all that I couldn't do this channel if it wasn't for support from you, my subscriber base, and my Patreon donors. If you'd like to join this community by pledging a dollar or more per month, go check out the link in the description below. And I thank you.